Hey, today I'm gonna talk about the newest Costa Rica entry requirements updates for April 1st, 2022. And um, if you're brand new to this channel, hi, my name is Muriel. This channel is called The Sunshine Family. And if you already know me for a little while and you wondered why were you not making videos for about 10 days, we're not used uh, that from you Muriel stick to the end of my video because I'm gonna talk about what happened and why I didn't make videos and uh, yeah for now I'm excited um, uh, to share with you what will be happening from April 1st if you're thinking about uh, traveling to Costa Rica and if you're looking now for information about uh, entry requirements which is always important to check out um, right before you leave because um, rules and regulations may change but I'm pretty sure these rules and regulations will stay that way uh, the way that they are designed right now so what has what's the situation what has the situation been well until currently the situation has been you are uh, welcoming Costa Rica unvaccinated but then you need to have mandatory travel insurance and you need to apply for an online health pass uh, giving you a QR code, okay? So no vaccination needed, no tests needed, but those two things were required. Uh, and, the, and the mandatory travel insurance was not for free. So this is, what, this is how it was. What has been changing? Well, right now we're in this transition time, but from April 1st, all the QR codes has been dismissed and also the travel the mandatory travel insurance has been dismissed how about mask i don't know i've never really grasped how that works because on some places you see people wearing them everywhere inside outside of stores and and some places they're just having them hanging on their ear or just on their arm but that's not really clear right now but what's good news is that you don't need those two things anymore starting april 1st um that means that right now it looks really, really different from Europe. That's where I come from. By the way, if you wonder what's your accent, I am Dutch and I moved to Costa Rica in 2018 uh, together with my husband and my family, with my two kids, thanks to our laptop business. We work online since 2013. We coach people from all around the world online, teaching them how to build an online business or how to get more uh, exposure to their existing business uh, for more information ooh, about that just go to the description below to find more information and you can always subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept updated about all my adventures in Costa Rica because my channel is all about sharing everything I've learned myself and uh, according to this whole situation in the world with uh, rules and regulations entry requirements entry requirements Costa Rica there has been so many changes but this change makes me most excited because it's the easiest way um, so yeah you're free to come from April 1st I get a lot of questions from families even about people thinking about moving to Costa Rica like I did with my family now I can say wow I think it has been made very easy for you just come uh, in Europe, um, they were thinking about very, very, very strict rules and regulations, a mandatory QR code, mandatory vaccinations, the um, European Union and all that jazz. Um, I don't know if you're not planning on uh, visiting places like Madrid, Paris, Barcelona, um, all those epic, beautiful countries in Europe. I come from Europe, of course. I've been through many cities. I, uh, I am assured that I am happy that I do not live there and that but you know this video is about Costa Rica uh, entry requirements um, so this is the status update for now for April 1st and let me know your thoughts below um, all details will probably follow in official um, articles and stuff but it's already announced this this is official uh, so if you're um, booking your Costa Rica travels or you're planning on moving to Costa Rica I think I'm gonna be excited uh, for seeing you coming here um, for this reason because a lot of people stayed away not being sure if there would be mandatory vaccination and stuff and uh, yeah so this is actually a short video 
Oh, and I promised at the start of the video that I would be sharing why I didn't make any videos for about 10 days. Well, for the first time since a very long time, I decided to plug out. Uh, Dirk and I bought a new truck, a Land Cruiser, and we just trucked around Costa Rica. We had uh, a couple of days, um, about 10 days, and three phases of vacation. First, we did the area San Jose, Santa Ana, I, uh, I've been doing very exciting things there. Um, what I will be sharing in one of my newest videos upcoming, because I videoed a lot, but I just didn't make videos about it yet. Uh, second phase, uh, we visited the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. And the third phase, we visited another part of Costa Rica, more up in the mountains where we've never been. Uh, and I'm so excited about Costa Rica. I already was excited, <clears throat> but finally we had a reliable car that could bring us from A to B. And you know, if you're thinking about coming to Costa Rica or even moving to Costa Rica, I assure you, Costa Rica is such an amazing country. Even if you live here, <laughs> it's such a cool country to plan your vacation here in Costa Rica. It's an amazing country to live and travel through. I know also a lot of people who live here already quite some years, 20 plus years, and they still spend vacation time in Costa Rica. Um, Ticos do the same and uh, Costa Rica have so many faces. But like I said, um, I will um, create some videos of all the material that I shot along my way. So you can see the roads and get an impression of the different areas. And uh, yeah, everything to serve you guys as my loyal viewers and my audience to share everything I have learned myself. So with this, um, oh, and yes, I had a great vacation. <laughs> I really filled up my battery. Um, and the cool thing that I always love to share is I didn't work. I think I worked for 15 minutes per day. You know, I have an online business, but I made about $7,000 during those, during, seven or eight days the the income of my business kept rolling in and how that is even possible you know if you have no clue on how to use automation for a business for an online business if you have no clue where to start how that even works well that's one of the things that i teach you know this doesn't fall from the sky <laughs> this is not something that happens by plucking some uh, uh, pushing some button this is not a push button business because such a thing doesn't exist but if you know how to build a solid online business where you can use automation and technology and smart systems to work for you when you're not working this may be something that you can share one day as well you know i didn't work i did reply to some urgent emails and some of my coaching students who had burning questions um but i just you know made a lot of money while not working uh, long hours um, offline or online and that is something exciting that i just always want to share and want to highlight because there are so many people who want to travel to costa rica looking for entry requirements costa rica right now and they are saving up money or they are looking for really bad paying stupid jobs or even if they want to move to Costa Rica, they're looking for online jobs and that's totally not solid. I would say build a solid online business for yourself and that's the most reliable way to generate an income. Well, that's what I do, that's what I teach, but that's just a side note uh, at the end of this video. Uh, it's just a happy coming home with cash in the bank because I set up some things that has been working for me when I was not. And I want you to know that that is possible. Um, the first link below this video is called it's possible it ends on with it's possible if you're curious how you can start from scratch online without having any product or experience just check out that link to learn more and with that being said i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video and of course in costa rica one day because it's an exciting place to be bye for now this was muriel from the sunshine family take care